no knowledge of algebra will give you this. Instead, you are going to do trial and error. You say x is equal to 1, x is got until you get to x is equal to 4. And which is true. Now, you are asked to show how did you get it. No knowledge of algebra is going to do that for you. Now, I'm going to introduce you to a unique and lovely function that will help us to solve this. So, all I ask is that you stick to the end of the video to see how everything plays out. Welcome to my channel. Today, let's get straight to the point and solve for the value of x. Now, first thing, leave the power alone. Just leave it alone, all right? And take this to the other side of the equation. So if we do that, we have that 2x is equal to 20 minus x. Please, permit me to take this to this side and this to the other side. I have my reason. Trust the process, okay? So we are going to have 20 minus x is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now let's divide through by 2 to the power of x because I want to have a number here, all right? So divided by 2 to the power of x is equal to, sorry, divided by 2 to the power of x as well. Now we are going to have 20 minus x divided by 2 to the power of x is equal to what? 1. That's w function. Yes, what is this function all about? It says that when you have, for example, a, e to the power of a, all right, and you introduce this function, that you are going to get a back, okay? So that simply means that when you have something like this that you can actually solve using any knowledge of algebra. If you try to manipulate your expression to be in this form, you are going to get this. That is whatever that is multiplying your e must be what is your e is raised as a power to. Okay? So what do we now do? I'm going to write this somewhere so that you people will see what I'm trying to do as I'm doing it. All right? Is equal to a. So always keep an eye on this while we try to manipulate whatever we have to be in this form have you uh, subscribed already if you have not then please do that all right subscribe to the channel um on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video and i upload videos twice daily so always tune in every day to see what's new all right now i look at this everything here there is no fraction so the first thing i need to do is to take this up okay so that i will have a linear expression now, to do that, I have 1 over 2 to the power of x. If I should bring that up, I'm going to introduce minus sign or negative sign to its power, right? So, I'm going to have 20 minus x multiplied by 2 to the power of minus x, all right? Since x uh, to the power of minus 1 is equal to 1 over x, all right? Now, this is equal to what? 1. Okay, recall. We need E, and whatever we have here and here must be the same. Now, look at all we have here. We can get the same power from here, yes, because if we add 20 to this power, then automatically this power and this will become the same. Now, we are left with how to introduce our E, right? So, how do I add 20 to this place? Note that A to the power of M plus N is the same thing as A to the power of M multiplied by A to the power of N. So, that means that if I have only A to the power of M, and I want to introduce what? N. That means I have to do A to the power of N. I'll multiply A to the power of M by A to the power of N. Now, in this case, I want to introduce plus 20 here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to multiply this side by 20 by 2 to the power of 20. And I'm also going to multiply this side by 2 to the power of 20. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 20 minus X multiplied by 2 raised to the power of minus X multiply by 2 to the power of 20, right? That is, I'm multiplying this side right now. Is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of what? 20. Now, we continue. When you look at this, we can now write this as what? 20 minus x, okay? 2 to the power of... Now, I'm going to take 20 and minus what? 20 minus x as well. Is equal to 2 to the power of what? 20. Don't jump yet. Yes, don't. Because look at it. Even though we have the same thing here and here, we still have two here and not E. Now, note, that is a simple thing. That one is very small. That one is a come case. <laughs> so, okay. Now, look at it. These two now, if you have E to the power of ln x is equal to x, right? 
That means that e to the power of ln 2 will give us 2. So that is how we introduce our e. I told you it's not a big deal. So we are going to have 20 minus x multiplied by 2. Sorry. E to the power of ln 2. Repla uh, replacing these two now. All right. To the power of what? 20 minus x. All right. Is equal to 2 to the power of 20. So that means that what we have is what? 20 minus x multiplied by e to the power of... Now, when you have two powers on a number, you just multiply the powers, right? So that means that this is same thing as ln 2 multiplied by 20 minus x, okay? Is equal to 2 to the power of 20. Now, I want you to look at this. We have 20 minus x, we have 20 minus x, but we have ln 2 here. So it's not yet the same. Everything seems to be in order except that ln 2 is here. So we are going to multiply through by ln 2 so that we introduce ln 2 to this side so that we can now comfortably introduce our w, uh, lambda w function. All right? So permit me to, at least to this stage now, we don't need them. So let me just draw my line from here to here for now. Now we are going to multiply through by what? ln 2. So we are going to have ln 2 multiplied by 20 minus x, all right? Multiply by e to the power of ln 2 bracket 20 minus x, okay? Is equal to, we are going to, remember we are multiplying through by ln 2. So it's going to be ln 2 um, multiplied by 2 to the power of 20. Interesting, right? Now look at this. We have everything. What we have as power is what we what is multiplying this R E as well. So we can now introduce our W Lambert fun our lambda W function in order to get this out. So when we do that, we have this ln two multiplied by twenty minus x. Okay. Then e raised to the power of ln two multiplied by twenty minus x. Okay, is equal to, we are going to introduce this, don't worry, soon. By the time I remove this, everything and bring out this, we have enough space to work with. So we are going to introduce the W Lambert function for this side. And we have ln 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. Perfect. Sorry, 2 to the power of 20. Now look at it. Now I can clean this. Look at it. So this is what we have. Now, when we introduce this, that means we are going to get this as our result, okay? Recall what we have here. When you have the same thing here and here, that becomes your solution. So we have the same thing here and here. That means this side becomes ln 2 multiplied by what? 20 minus x, okay? Is equal to the W Lambert function of ln 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 20. Now... At this point, we don't have any business with this side. Yes. Now, we, since we have this W Lambert function, we are trying to manipulate this side as well so that we get something out of it. Now, we have ln 2. We have 2 to the power of 20. We can rewrite this as what? So here we have ln 2 bracket 20 minus x is equal to the Lambert W function of, instead of 2 to the power of 20, we are going to write this as 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 16 okay yes because since we have the same base we can just add the power to get this right so multiply by ln 2 now we have ln 2 multiplied by 20 minus x is equal to the Lambert w function now 2 to the power of 4 is 16 ln 2 then let's take this to this side okay Notice what we are trying to form, okay? We are trying to form the same thing here and here so that we can bring out something as our solution. Now, let's continue. If you look at this, now what do we have? We have ln 2 bracket 20 minus x is equal to the lambda w function of, we have 16 ln 2. Now, recall that this 2, we can write it as what? We can write it as, e to the power of ln 2, right? So let's go ahead and write that. So we can write this as e to the power of ln 2. Now, the whole of this is for this 2. So everything is raised to the power of 16. So everything is raised to the power of 16. Now, this bracket is for our Lambert function. We are getting there. Look at it. Look at it. 
right? Please don't get anywhere. We are almost through. Now, permit me to clean this side of the board. Permit me while we try to work out the final solution to our equation. Okay. Now, let me rewrite what we have here, here so that we can easily uh, follow what we are doing. So, what I have here is that ln2 multiplied by 20 minus x, okay, is equal to the lambda function of what? Um, 16 ln2, then e to the power of ln2, the whole of this is raised to the power of 16 because this represented our 2. Okay. Now, permit me to clean everything. I beg, I need space. I need space. <laughs> now I love my board. Don't mind me. Let's continue. So what do we have? We now have that ln2 bracket 20 minus x is equal to. Now, because we have the same thing here. Yes, I know some of you will be like, how? Look at this. E to the power of ln2 to the power of 16 is the same thing as ln2 multiplied by 16, right? Okay, let's not skip that step because I don't want to answer too many questions. So we have 16 ln2, right? 16 ln2 e to the power of... This we now multiply this, right? So 16 multiplied by ln2. They're the same, all right? We have the same thing here and here. So our W number function will now take its effect. So we have a line 2 bracket 20 minus x is equal to 16 ln 2, right? 16 ln 2. Perfect. So what do we do from here? Let's divide through by ln 2. Divide through by ln 2. Now this, we divide this. And we have what? We have 20 minus x. 20 minus x. 20 minus x is equal to ln2, we also divide ln2, we have 16. So we are looking for x, what do we do? First of all, let's take x to this side so that it will be positive and bring this to this side. So we are going to have 20, 16 we cross to become minus 16 is equal to minus x we cross to become x. Now 20 minus 16 will give us 4 is equal to x. Now let's check. Let's check 2 to the power of 4 plus 4 is equal to 20. Is that true? Now, 2 to the power of 4 is 16 plus 4 is equal to 20. So we have that 20 is equal to 20. Ta-da! Right?